going on everybody welcome to the best mountain farm and today we are going to start paint uh i do have to do a little bit of caulking in the ceiling just going to hit the worst of the gaps there's not a whole lot um make it look as good as possible but we did get all the rest of the wall caulked um and so by the end of the day i'm hoping to have this room cleaned up uh actually looking pretty good dusted and then we got some other special surprises that we're going to do back here uh so make sure and stay tuned to the end of the video i think y'all will enjoy it well that's enough talking so let's get started short about a tube of caulk but you can tell the difference from over here where you can see all the cracks and over here where I've got most of them filled uh, it's gonna make a lot of difference so I gotta grab another can of or tube or two of caulk and I've got to grab two more beadboard boards but in the meantime uh, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the walls. Maybe a little bit backwards, um, painting the lower part, but I want to see how good this paint's going to cover. And that way when I go out, I'll know if I need to get another can of paint or not. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a, grab another can, or go, go ahead and start painting. And yeah, a lot of it's just because I really want to start getting some color up. Uh, and that way I'll know I think there's some places where I might still need to caulk some more, uh, but we'll see how good the paint covers. So now we got to do the fun part. You can see the difference that the uh, caulking makes where I've missed a couple places. Thought I'd be able to get away with it, but now I guess I'll get two or three extra tubes of caulk and hit those up a little bit better. But uh, as soon as it dries, I think it's going to be really pretty. So we're just going to keep moving around this room and get as much as we can done with this gallon. And then we'll know how much we've got to get for everything else. And when it dries, I think that it's going to be really pretty. I'm pretty impressed with this paint too. It's uh, Benjamin Moore. I get it from my local hardware store. I don't get paid. I'm sending a paid promotion. But I will say this paint and primer. 
while everything's went up in price it's not the most expensive and it's doing a pretty darn good job Made pretty fast work of it because I didn't have to trim all, you know, cut in or worry about all the way down next to the floor. Uh, you know, I'm gonna be putting the baseboards. I didn't have to worry about this door molding because we're recasing everything. So it made everything, you know, go a whole lot faster. But the uh, paint is drying very well. I'm pretty sure one coat is gonna be more than adequate which is gonna save time and that's always good. So, like I said, not getting sponsored or paid for the shout out to Benjamin Moore. However, hashtag pound sign at whatever that is Benjamin Moore. I have a lot more painting to do. So if you're interested in me, use your product uh, for some more videos, hit me up. This one's free. Anyway, uh, one of the other things I wanted to show you where we replaced our uh, one board here, it turned out pretty good. Like just looking at this, you really wouldn't know which one of these boards I cut out the center and replaced unless you counted it actually new. And it's that one, I'm pretty sure. Shoot, I'm not even 100% sure. Yeah, I think it's that one. Yes, so that worked out pretty good. A little bit of painter's caulk and uh, not too bad for an amateur fix. All right, well, you can see this wall behind me is not painted. I'm getting a little fancy, changed my mind a little bit on some stuff. So here in just a minute, we'll be working on that wall and probably about time to be able to run to the hardware store, get the rest of our stuff while this dries and then uh, move stuff and start all over. All right.
All right, well, that's the caulking. Yeah, there's some still visible cracks and all, but compared to what it was, it looks a million times better. So it'll do all right. I gotta leave a little bit of character. It is a 120 year old farmhouse after all. So I'm not after a absolutely flawless, perfect. I have enough time for that to get it perfect, but it looks much better than it did. So can't see hardly. Still a few gaps up there after I paint it. Uh, not gonna be bad, kind of like the walls. Only a couple visible that you can see. So now it's time to start cleaning up a little bit. Uh, get some tools out of here. <laughs> They're picking me up. I missed it again. I, I mismeasured and made a bad cut. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Papa Hero grabbed me one more board because they're out at the grocery store. I'll be able to get that done and we'll be able to get moving on with some of our surprises we got for this evening. Definitely later than I wanted to be working in here. But uh, while I don't mind this blue color, it wasn't not what I really wanted, not what I had in my head. So I had to run out and get some different paint. So now we're going to be able to get started on the ceiling because uh, all the caulk is now dry. So we're going to do a ceiling and around, then we'll get that back wall and then we'll start getting our other new stuff moved in here.
ceiling looks about a million times better. Yeah, it looks good. It's looking real good. And remember, there's gonna be a piece of wood trim there. Might as well go ahead and say this right now, even though I'm gonna have like multiple people make comments like, oh, you got white on the gray or you missed some spots. Oh, calm down. There's lots of trim that's gotta go up. Everything that doesn't get trim is painted. I was thinking we probably will get one more little touch up. Um, so, it's all good. Everything that doesn't look right painted right now will be covered with beautiful handmade oak trim as soon as I get up here from Georgia this week or next week. So now the last thing to do is fix my oops color. And now it wasn't that, like I said, it's not a bad color. It just does not go with the gray. So I'm gonna fix that. I think that is much better. And this blue actually came out what I wanted. Uh, that's that's the color I was looking for. The other color wasn't bad, but I think that matches a lot more with the gray. And then the, the white up top. So I know I had some things that said, you know, some surprises and whatnot for at the end of the video. Well, it is now almost 10 o'clock at night and uh, I just don't have it. So make sure to like, subscribe and share so that you can catch the rest of this room uh, restoration. And tomorrow it's gonna be almost done. Uh, we're gonna be getting it all cleaned up. We'll have everything but the trim done tomorrow. Uh, 
and the floors. So looking forward to that. So I don't normally do this, but I will say that this Benjamin Moore paint that I got, and it was only $42 a gallon only. I know, uh, but it's like their entry. It, it did really, really well. And then it was late when I went to go get this other color and I got the Bell Spar. And it's their entry level too. And, but it was like almost $50 for a gallon at Lowe's. And I will say the Benjamin Moore, which was about $8 cheaper, outperformed the Bell Spar a lot. Uh, so little plug there. I don't do promotions. I don't do paid advertisements, anything like that. Uh, mainly because I know I'd only do one or two and the people that wanted me to do them would just be insanely mad because I'm going to be completely honest with whatever I do. So <laughs> you can pay me and give me something if you want, but I'm going to do an honest review and you may or may not like it. But I will say, coming from someone who's not a professional painter by any means, just your average Bubba <laughs> who uh, painted the Benjamin Moore was much easier to use. Uh, covered much better, did a lot better job. So, for anybody that might be about to paint a room or do something, highly recommend getting that. Plus it was cheaper, kind of a win-win. And on that note, I am going to go take a shower and get the copious amounts of paint that I have all over me off of me and go to bed. Thanks for watching.